Well, I would say, you know, for me, my main experience with the enzymes has been how easy they are um, and, and how quickly they're effective more than anything. I mean, of course, I take them and I love them. But for my clients who, you know, oftentimes like they would struggle on the traditional protocols because we know it can take a long time to really have results. And, and sometimes, and oftentimes before they would have the amazing results, they would have all these healing crises. And so it's, it's sometimes hard to keep people going to get the result. And so for me, the biggest shift really has been being able to get my clients super fast results. And so then they get motivated and they feel, wow, there's the light at the end of the tunnel. And then I can keep them going you know, and, and most of my clients, once they start with the enzymes, they keep going. Wow. Yeah. That's I did start with the rainbow cleanse and I, yeah, I did. Um, I think I did a couple of the colon cleanses and then the liver flushes. And, you know, again, I was, I was super skeptical because previously it took me so long preparation and 40 days of fasting, which I did many cycles of that to then get mucoid plaque out like getting mucoid plaque out previously was like it was a mission there was preparation there was fasting and um and so I was very like well I don't know you know how can this product come along and just wipe out months of of work and just kind of get to the point you know so I was very skeptical and of course, because I had done so much work previously, I was also like, well, you know, who knows if this is going to really do anything for me. And yeah, I, I was blown away and I continue to be blown away by the, the results. And, you know, that even for somebody like me, who's done a lot of work, there's still results that come. And as we know, <clears throat> you know, digestive disorders and and especially related to liver unfortunately they can really take time to resolve and there is no shortcut it's like we just have to do the flushes we have to live the correct lifestyle it's all comprehensive and and so with these enzymes you know knowing that we can get the we can still get the results faster than with any other system it's still going to take time but you are going to get the results faster and the results are buff or rather the process is buffered because fasting in the traditional way, whether we do it with juices or with water, it's hardcore. And we can have a lot of, uh, depending on our health state, we can have a lot of detox symptoms. We can have days where really we do not feel well. Sometimes for weeks, I've had clients where I just had to go, well, you know, you just got to sit with it. And with these products, there is so much buffering and support for the body that you hardly get days on end where you suffer. You know, you may have half a day or a day where you don't feel so good and then you're back to feeling great. Mm. I think, I guess for me, the whole process really, you know, because I know the process so intimately and to go, wow, here we have something that can really make it easy. And I'm always looking, how can I make the process easier for my clients with anything? Because if I can make it easier, you know, it's better for them, it's better for me. And, and so to see the ease, the efficiency, and then of course, you know, cause by now I've been taking the enzymes pretty much on a daily basis for like a long time. And to see the marked difference that they make um, yeah, so maybe my aha moment, because I was a little bit more skeptical initially, my aha moment kind of took a, a, a bit to like really come and to really go, wow, you know, we all need to be on these enzymes. And, and that they're really, to me, they're the foundation, the foundational piece for one's health and we all know that we you know nowadays we're all exposed to an unprecedented onslaught of toxicity and we all 
need no matter you know where we're at like whether we're doing it for prevention or we're trying to heal something we all need to actively become participants in our journey of of health restoration or of you know preventing and and yeah so for me these enzymes are really they're just a foundational piece um i i give them to my children i mean not you know they're they're not as diligent yet but they all they've been taught that by the time that they're 16 which is next year i, I said you know we're going to start doing the cleanses on a regular basis you're going to start taking these you know so it's like they know that it's coming um right. doing that. well i mean it, it doesn't compare it, it doesn't even compare um i I, I never, because, yeah, I never used to recommend liver cleansing until I found, until I tried the, the Zen cleanse, liver cleanse, because, you know, so we had other methods that obviously were not, you know, deep flushing. Uh, we'd work with herbs and nutrition and, and all of that, which is helpful. But um, yeah, I would, I would advise people against the, the, traditional liver flushes because the epsom salts are very harsh on the liver you know they're they're abrasive and we know what happens when we ingest them and even the whole fact that you know i'm not a fan of doing things where the body really struggles because to me that's just a sign you know like if we have to do it once in a blue moon because sure you know every now and again but knowing that we need to flush consistently, to me, there is no better and more intelligent way than flushing with this system to, to work the liver. And, um, and at the same time, I always combine it with suppositories and, you know, like to really kind of give a, um, a holistic approach and, and the results are just phenomenal. You know, each time they're, they're incredible. And at the same time, you know, and that's why like I created the 21 day as a foundational piece because, um, well, certainly for me, I, you know, most of the clients that I work with, they have fairly severe health issues. So I would say if you don't have any health issue and you just want to maintain great health or even improve because there's always improvement right we know that especially if you if you reach the age of 35 40 you know like great if you're healthy but there's going to be improvements there's going to be room for improvement and so if you're healthy go and do the rainbow cleanse you know go and do the single flushes you're going to benefit from them but I always tell my clients you know when they're wanting to just kind of like dip their toes I almost warn them against just dipping their toes because they have so much to open that it's almost unfair on the body and even on the zen cleanse system to go oh i'm just gonna do a week it's like no it doesn't work that way you know like so i like to say if you're a newbie and you have some health issues commit to 21 days because in 21 days which is not a long time but in 21 days I mean, literally every single person that has gone through the protocol has been wowed. You know, there's nobody that has come out and go, oh, well, you know, that was kind of mediocre. It's impossible because 21 days is, is it's deep enough. It allows you to really have some, some deep results. And just for me personally, you know, again, to kind of say, yes, I've done a lot of work and, you know, I've really like gotten myself to you know from bedridden to amazing health but what has wowed me personally about the enzymes and the cleanses is that my digestive system which has always been my weak point has improved so much from you know and, and I was eat I was doing already all the things so it's not like I wasn't doing the things I was doing the things but by taking the enzymes and by regularly doing the flushes and fasting, um, which I love. I love fasting with the enzymes. I mean, I love fasting period, but fasting on the enzymes is like, it's so easy. It's so easy, which is why we have newbies who've never fasted a day in their lives fast 21 days. And, and they go, wow, I did it. 
you know and maybe in 21 days they had like a soup and an apple but they managed for 21 days to kind of have an experience and so i always say like if you want to if you want to learn to fast if you want to be in the practice of fasting which of course we know there is nothing better nothing more potent for our health then autophagy, then allowing the body to go into autophagy, the enzymes are just phenomenal. And, and seeing that everybody has digestive issues and colon issues to a degree because digestion, colon, liver, I mean, that's like, you know, the golden triangle where that's where the issues are. And so if we, if we work on it long enough, the enzymes are just gently going to chip away better than anything else for sure. Amen. Um, well, personally, I mean, I, you know, I've now I'm doing a 21 day in, in one go without eating, but I was, I was kind of, I mean, I've been on the enzymes now probably for like two years mostly consistently you know with some gaps here and there but pretty consistently and I'm trying to think like maybe I've done six or seven liver flushes and now I want to do a whole bunch more colon flushes I think it's been maybe like four four or five colon flushes and then regular colonics um because I definitely feel you know, in an ideal, I always say in an ideal world, if you really want to go deep, I like to prepare and do a, a, a colonic before the flushes, then do the, the flush, and then one or two days later, do another colonic. And, and that's where I feel when I do that, it goes, re and of course, really taking the enzymes, even if, if we just do a couple days at a time, like we don't always, I think to get started to do a 21 day is really powerful. And then strictly speaking, if you have serious health issues, you know, I would say you need to go like 40 days. 40 days to me is, is a bit of a magic number. Um, and then of course we continue, you know, as we know, it's not just done, you know, and then we continue and, but so I like to do like one in a big swoop and then shorter fasts. And most weeks I do like a tw at least a 24 hour once a week. And then here and there, I'll do like half a day on just enzymes and then, you know, another half a day on just fruit and greens. So I find it's very flexible. It's very easy to kind of play around with it um, without feeling any kind of, you know, deprivation or, or like I said, difficulty. And because I know a lot of people are concerned oftentimes, you know, I mean, there's, there's just the misinformation around food in general is, is really vast and deep and so oftentimes when people see the ingredients and they go oh my gosh there's all those fruit and vegetables um you know is it sweet is it going to bother my blood sugar no that's the wonderful thing it doesn't bother your blood sugar so that in fact we've helped many type 2 diabetes um patients suffers um to heal you know so it's actually one of the easiest ways to again heal your blood sugars and balance your blood sugars why because we're working on the removal of of waste which is really why the blood sugar issues are there in the first place and because we work so deeply on the liver really helpful <laughs> yeah i think that's where a lot of education is is necessary you know to really educate that um because in some ways i feel what we're doing with the cleanses you know i always say fasting is is like being on nature's operating table and you let nature take its course and so just as we you know when when we go into surgery heart surgery brain surgery we don't just kind of go oh well you know like yeah tomorrow i'm having an open heart surgery no big deal you know i'm not even preparing and i'm coming out and you know going back to old ways no like we go into surgery and we take it seriously but for some reason we don't take this kind of work seriously enough we kind of think oh i'm just doing a little cleanse 
Whereas I would say the work that is possible with cleansing is far superior to open heart surgery. You know, it's far more profound, it's far superior because sure, anybody can go in there and, you know, snip something away and then go, well, we fixed your problem. Whereas, no, we haven't, you know, I mean, surgery is fantastic in terms of emergency surgery and thank goodness for emergency surgery and, and you know, the whole emergency medicine is, is amazing. But the side of medicine that sort of cuts things out is actually a very barbaric way of healing people. And, and so what I would like to see, and, and I do feel, you know, what I'm here to impart is to actually really take, um, take serious the level of work that we can do through cleansing. And, and to me, in fact, it's actually, it's miraculous and phenomenal that it's even possible and, and how quickly our body does respond, you know? Because as we know, we can abuse our body knowingly and unknowingly for 30, 40 years. And then we can go, okay, I'm really going to focus on cleansing now. And within a relatively short amount of time, we, we tend to calculate one month of cleansing for every year of sort of unconscious lifestyle. Which for us, I mean, most of us, you know, it's like, I started when I was 40 and so well 40 months of focused healing is pretty much what was required you know and then of course we can't be focused for 40 months so we kind of take it easy a bit and then we go and and it's like yeah for me that's pretty accurate you know I would say that's been very accurate um and so it's actually a short time you know considering but it requires yeah it requires the honoring the honoring of what we're doing here is talking to people is sitting with the emptiness you know I think that's a, a common thing that most people struggle with I know I have um after and like even during or after a cleanse you have to sit with the feeling of like oh like I have emotions moving oh I have mm. things like actual physical sensations happening like I need to just sit with them and rather than trying to stuff them away or, or cover them up with something. Yeah. Um, and especially afterwards, so the second half of the cleanse where you're actually releasing stuff and you're actually feeling that emptiness. Um, mm -hmm. And we're not taught how to sit with emptiness because we're not ever, we never experience it, especially when it comes to getting rid of huge amounts of stagnation and things that have been in there for so long. It's almost like we're mourning the loss of those things. Um, mm -hmm. And in some ways we are, we're letting go of a lot of those things, but we have to fully like feel it. And as Daniel always says, you have to feel the heal. Um, and that couldn't be a more accurate and true statement, which is <laughs> so important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I have regularly people tell me, you know, I don't even know who I am anymore because, and, and this is, you know, why does that happen? It's because our so much of our identity really comes from our microbiome, from our gut. And so, you know, sometimes we think, uh, like one, one of my clients, he's like, oh, you know, I thought I was all ADHD and ADD and I could never focus. And I thought that that's just how I was. And then he did the colon cleanse and he was like, you know, became the super zen, chilled. And he's like, who am I? you know, what was all of that? And, and he said it really took him a long time to kind of integrate that because he couldn't understand it and, um, until we spoke. And, you know, and I said, well, that's, that was just your bad gut microbiome that left and, and you know, probably a lot of pathogens. Um, in fact, not probably more than likely, you know, pathogens, candida, parasites. And when they are overpowering the good bacteria, we are going to feel agitated. We're going to feel angry. We're going to have certain cravings that then we think that, it, you know, it's, it's us. It's like, oh, well, I'm a glutton. Oh, well, I just like this. And then we do a cleanse and all of a sudden those cravings are just gone. And then we just were left with, well, who are we really? 
That's so true. And we're, we're not, we haven't had the opportunity to sit with that really ever. I mean, as kids, we're like always stimulated by something, going here, going there, doing activities, and we're never actually like taught to just figure out who we are. So to kind of peel back the layers, I don't like to use an onion as an example. Artichoke is better. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. An artichoke, you're literally like peeling back the layers to get to the core, to get to the inner, inner. Because like with an onion, like you peel back an onion, there's not really much in the middle. So artichoke is a little bit better of an example. But you're peeling back all those layers, and all those layers are things that you've held on to: emotions, physical sensations, physical plaque and gallstones, and who are you beneath those layers? And it takes time to figure those things out through going through dark nights of the soul, experiencing the the deep darks. Cause it's like, you have to go to the darkness to come back up to the light. Um, yeah, it's like absolutely. always, it's an always thing. And it's something that I'm, I'm learning. The deeper that I get, the, more, the deeper that I get, the deeper the emotions are and the, the more that it like shakes me up for days afterwards. It's like, I should be okay with that. And it's, sometimes I'm like, I don't want to be okay with that because it's intense. And then other times I'm like, okay, I got this. Like it takes, takes a, a certain amount of courage to even do these cleanses to begin with because you don't know what's going to stir up for you. Um, but whatever it is, it's going to release it. Yeah. And, and you know, we say we, we heal in reverse. So whatever came first, the kind of like the first ailments, um, well, the other way around the last layers go first, right? Mm. It, and then as we heal, we go back and we regress. And of course, for most of us, the healing journey or the, the journey of dis-ease, both physical and emotional began as children. So, you know, the things that we blocked and suppressed, uh, they then later become the source of dis-ease but that's because the issue is in the tissue, which is why we need to feel to heal. So it's all, you know, connected in, like you said, in layers. And so initially the healing can be like, oh, wow, you know, I feel so amazing. And, and then we go deeper and deeper and deeper. And sometimes years into the process, we get to the real nugget. Uh, or months, it depends, because the journey is so different for for all of us. Um, and I always observe how it's also so deeply connected to what's happening metaphysically. And, and so recently, I had someone who went through the cleansing process for several months, but then went back home. And, and as she went back home to the place of origin where the pain began, she started to re-experience old symptoms in a really strong way. You know, it was like, but what's happening? I thought that I had resolved that. And it was like, well, the body is just reflecting the metaphysical. 